All right, guys, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I technically should be able to do it. We're going to haul the skid steer and the mulcher head. That's, I mean, it's not heavy, but by itself, it's not bad. We're going to put the little X behind it. So <laughs> this will be heavier than a prime tech. This will be the heaviest thing that I've actually ever hauled. It just seems easier. One trip, let's hit it. Keep hearing beeping. Might be out of depth on the machine, but it's saying we got two bars. Let me get this car go by and I'll tell you how close it is. You got about a foot forward to go. You can lower the head all the way down, or the boom. Keep going a little bit. Okay, set it down. Yeah. Go down, yeah, there you go, that worked. We could probably come a little forward. Let's see if she fits, though. I don't remember what button it is. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, it's got like two inches. Oh, it didn't quite touch. I'd probably, no, uh, yeah. Across the mid hill. You gotta go. The arch isn't even flattened out with the 12 all the way up there. Yeah, yeah just go slow or something. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna grab a water out of the chest here. It's been a long time that I've always wanted to do this right here. I'm pretty excited. We'll see how happy I am when it's all done, but I'm I feel okay about it after towing the new prime around. Yeah, what if it's the same weight as the Prime? <laughs> yeah, it's, def it's a smooth ride, that's for sure. We got tongue weight and then not tongue weight. All right, I gotta get a run of this bitch, so. This is gonna be the... Yeah, this is second gear, 2700 RPM, 2800. Got a good run at this. Well, I gotta get a run at this part. It kind of feels like pulling the prime. I ain't going fast enough to slow down for this corner, that's for sure. It held second gear locked that whole hill. It got a little close to two grand at the top of it. I don't know. But I don't remember towing the prime out of there, but uh, that's definitely like, I want to go to first gear if I came out of that spot down at the bottom that we didn't like the idea of. <sighs> yeah. I got them on three. Yeah. Second gear. I'm thinking so. That'd be easier on everything. Because if, if it feels about the same as the Prime, I mean, I got rating for more than this, but let's make sure this wood waster guy stays on his side of the thing. That is close. Yeah. 
realistically, if like the 12 is what I say it weighs, and then the little guy is what we always say it is, 12,000, then 17 ish, we got a 29 on the deck right there. Say what? Oh, yeah. If we didn't have the bumper on there, we could have definitely got closer. But it feels alright. I can let go of the brakes a little bit, but second gear at 1700 RPM isn't really holding too much. Definitely helping. Well, as long as it's not a camper shell CHP guy. Yeah, well, there's one coming. He's got a green light. They don't feel bad really at all. Alright, let's see how she accelerates. Dude, it just feels just like the prime. Once it's once it's heavy, it's heavy. Oh, let's get it actually ship mode. Dude, it's ripping. Folks in Texas, they got it so easy. I'm gonna say twenty-eight to twenty-nine thousand pounds is on the deck. And <laughs> we got a 12,000 pound skid, we got a 3,000 pound mulcher head. That's 15,000 pounds just right from the scratch. And then you had uh, the bumper, and then you had an excavator of 12,000 pounds. So there's 17 and some chains. You know, it's, a, it's weird how you think those like that last thousand pounds, like, where's that come from? But it's all the gear and everything that ties stuff down. This is pulling it great. Arguably one of the smoothest rides so far. And why did I still got the headset on? Because uh, Haas was still hooked up from the job. Kind of panicked though. I thought I left my drill gun back there, but it's nice with the flatbed. I can actually see it in its little holster back there on the trailer. That's 3,000 RPM. We took it to full or third. Oh, we went to third for this downgrade right here. break and then I got an uphill right here so maybe it'll yep there we go grab fourth the shift logic with this truck fifth gen versus my fourth gen ISN I don't know what gear ratios or anything's different but this is significantly better the fourth gen kind of whoop up lock I'm like what the hell was that this one every once in a while it kind of does that I don't know if it's like mix emotions between shifting into the next gear and I let off the throttle a little bit so it kind of panics on going back on itself AI computer you know going good though this is going to save the whole afternoon for me all on this I say that knock on wood but it feels fine we got the excavators plenty on the trailer the tail lifted it up without a problem so we're off the highway now that's a win. The CHP guy, he pulled me over uh, where we were doing that acceleration test. So, back roads from here, boy. It's not nighttime, so we're not that sketch. Hey, there you are. Yeah. Mailman had to stick it out about a mile. So I need to leave a binder sticking out just a little bit so I can hit those garbage cans. All right, second gear engaged. I don't know what this person's doing. Start this one off at 15 mile an hour, 1500 RPM. Turn the trailer brakes at 3.5 just to be safe because there's that's 25 right here. Touch of the brakes. Put it this way, folks. Like the first time I ever hauled something heavy, it was the excavator that's on the tail. Now 
now we're putting a skid steer that is significantly heavier than it on the same load. Like this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty excited about how well this is hauling the weight. When I got my first 5500 in a 30k trailer, I didn't even know suspension upgrades were something you should definitely, definitely do. So it just had this simple slipper kind of suspension. It rode nice, but man, it just, I didn't really trust it. And I didn't, I didn't want to haul more than like the 080 on the deck, like 20,000, 21,000. I thought that was a lot. And so we started looking at different machines and they're all hitting around 22,000 pounds. I'm like, man, at some point we're gonna have to upgrade. But just never really pressed that envelope to needing to go to a 40K. And right before COVID hit, I wanted to get one of these trailers in 40 because pricing was still pretty good. And I was like, I could use one. We got a couple machines in our future that are gonna need a 40. And I was just thinking back when we got the print off, the 22,000 pound machine, I was like, man, that's about all I ever want to haul. It's no cakewalk on that machine either. And this is, it's got a beat, got a second gear hill right here. Oh, come on, baby. I just need to get up there a little bit so I can get to that crest. So I, oh, it's pulling it. It's it's accelerating. Yeah. Uh. -uh. Yeah. This, this corner's got a little rut for a ditch, but I, I don't really want to get in it. Let's see if she'll maintain third gear. Wow, it's accelerating. It's still. Surprising me how well this is uh, performing. Keep going, truck. Not going with it. Two ten on the engine, one sixty three on the trans, and one seventy seven on the oil temp. Fifty one psi of the pieces on the pressure of the engine. Stay there, don't turn in your Escalade. I'm, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, now nah, we'll have to go to second gear going up this. I don't know if it's quite gonna grunt it. Maybe that Prime Tech weighs more than they say, because this seems like it's going an awful lot easier than towing the Prime. I never scaled the Prime, but scaled one of these either well actually i did i scaled the old prime and it hit right about exactly what i thought my gross weight would be and here if my guess was accurate i would say we're 49 to 50 000. and it pulled it second to or no it's pulled it third gear 2200 rpm definitely get second gear out of this corner i'll put the phone down to make these next little shebangs because it's uh I gotta use up some of that real estate and other lanes. Come on, honky. Get out of the way, dude. All right. In the other lane now. Well, stay there, little tiny car. Prius. Thank you, Prius. Much appreciated, Prius. You have a good one. If you're looking at me like something fell off, that was sketch. life a little bit easier. Trans went up to uh, 168. Oh, geez. Oda just smoked it off the road and backed her straight in, but I had a service truck following me. It's close. I'm not going to. Then I can't see much out the mirrors down the highway if I park on the shoulder, so luckily we got this wide spot across the street. 
and you can just veer up, and then it's it's almost a straight shot back. But you gotta have somebody watching for you back there because you're completely blind because your truck's 40 feet off the road. Put these things on so it feel like I got my shield on. thing I can say is I'm pretty happy that my heart rate doesn't get higher after doing that about a hundred times, a thousand times. Worked out good. Home sweet home. That little possum's home. Home bikes, go. Might be hitting that now. No? Dude, it is ridiculously close to hitting right there. We we parked at as about as perfect as we could. That is insane. Somebody is giving me hell because this thing wouldn't lift a wheel tractor or my old trailer wouldn't when I first tested this out. Because they're like, oh, it should lift 10,000 pounds. I literally had the meats all the way right there where that front idler is because I didn't have enough room to go forward. And it wouldn't lift it up. And that's with like a six foot scraper box. Their angle blade, full hydraulic thing sticking out. Another four feet. That's a 12K excavator. And it got probably like 30 inches worth of it past the hinge. And it did just fine. I am thoroughly stoked on how well that worked. I don't, we don't take that machine to jobs hardly ever anymore. But that worked out awesome. Dang awesome. Well, that went way better than I honestly thought it was going to. It leads me to question how much the new PT-175 actually weighs. That Prime Tech definitely feels like it uh, works a truck harder. And if you do the quick math on a Prime Tech, they, the machine and the mulcher head are around 25,000 pounds plus a little change. and big 90 gallon fuel tank you add that into it and stuff you know it's getting up in weight but those two machines just quick math that's around 28,000 pounds almost like when i started making these videos saying dodger ram 5500 3500 still 30,000 pounds like that was like a holy damn that's working good but now you could you're we're almost to the point where we're saying we're pulling 40,000 pounds the trailer is uh, way on the sticker. It says 9,700 pounds, which I think that's possibly including the deck on the neck. It's it's heavier than my other trailer for whatever reason. You know they're the same, and I got Alcoa's on it. So you take that plus the weight of the machines. Yeah, we're getting on the close side of 40,000 pounds behind the truck. We're almost 50,000 pounds gross, which is a far cry from a semi. You know, they, somebody told me a while back, they said a semi where they're legally bound before permits are required at 80,000 pound peak or cap. That is where a semi is just now starting to get, you know, some weight on it. They have so much more room for potential. And then a pickup, 35 or 55, whatever, they, like 50,000 that I did, that's a big number. Or even close to it. Anything over 40,000, 45,000. That's a big number. Nothing was scaled, so nothing's legit numbers here, but uh, just educated guess. But it's crazy to think you would have to go another 30,000 pounds on top of what I did today. That's double the payload, at least, to be able to get up to a semi. So when people say, oh, no, that's a semi load. No, it's not. It's still a pickup load. It's a heavy pickup load, be realistic. But, you know... Ah, oh, crap. The little buddy's still on the other truck. Dang it. So I was going to take the little buddy this morning and pick up the excavator from my dad's house, take to the job, do the job, and then haul out of there one machine at a time. And I was like, you know what? I bet you I could fit both of those on there. And that was the only part that actually had me worried was getting the excavator up on the tail. I didn't know if I was going to quite have enough room to get it past the hinge so that I would feel comfortable for one, lifting it, and then two, hauling it. 
because they say 10,000 pounds on the tail lifting and hauling. So as a 12K excavator, I need to definitely get uh, a good chunk of it over the hinge and transfer it onto the actual deck of the trailer. But it worked out perfect. It was literally like the smoothest ride I've towed with so far. So anyway, I need to switch uh, rigs up because I need that little buddy trailer to haul a skid steer after work tomorrow because it's on the way back this way from the job. It's the one I dropped off on the highway. So I'm hoping I can back in there, or if not, I'll just track it down the road again. Oh well, let's get it. <laughs> Look at this. There's a video on there, and there's my birthday present from my boy to be. I need to get this thing out of the way a little bit. So look at this here. This is my first Diamond Sea trailer. It is technically, it's five years old already. I can't even believe that. So I should have already posted the video of why I upgraded to the new one. Uh, they had the bigger brakes, how call this, you know, bigger rating. But look at this thing. 2019 is when I bought it. There's a couple scuffs and stuff from the binders over the years, but this thing is literally, is like very equivalent to like a higher end, like nine and a half out of 10, how well this thing's held up. When people say, oh, you don't need to get a Diamond C. Like this thing is stepping up to a Diamond C and then getting the necessary options, like the hydraulic jacks and hydraulic tail. It is just unreal. So these new ones got a multi-function option so you don't have to switch the valving. Hydraulic Jackos. It just so legit. After being on the job all day and hauling equipment, the last thing that you want to do is crank on that you know rig right there. Even the, the little tiny trailer over there, I'll show you. Yeah, I thought something was a little funny with the 3500. Kept having the ramps uh, dragging. Like when I drop them, I had to back up on them so they'd flip. The supports were hitting. I had it all, it wasn't adjusted right. Look how much higher that is. That's where it should be. So. Easy that is now. It's, I mean, I've had this trailer for a while. I've known how easy it is, but just reminiscing and going back and thinking about how ridiculous cranking jacks are. Okay, and just like that, we are hooked up and ready for tomorrow. I got the uh, old school units in this rig. You don't have to worry about charging on batteries at that. 40K trailer is off the rig. We are on to the next project. See you guys. Appreciate you guys watching the video and this far out in it. I'm stoked about how well it did today. If you're stoked and watch the video this far, say, I'm stoked right there with you.